A year after the disappearance of Malaysian Airlines flight MH370, the Malaysian and Australian Prime Ministers say they remain committed and there is hope of finding the plane that vanished with 239 passengers and crew on board. The search continues. Uh, we are about 40 per cent of the way through searching 60,000 square kilometres uh, of deep ocean uh, off uh, the coast of Western Australia. Uh, we are reasonably optimistic of success, but uh, if we don't succeed in this search, there is another search that we intend to make because we owe it to the families of the dead. Uh, we owe it to the travelling public to do whatever we reasonably can to resolve this mystery. It's one of the great mysteries of the 21st century and um, I know that uh, there will be a nagging doubt in the minds of billions of people until such time as we can find that plane. The event sparked the largest underwater search ever carried out in one of the world's roughest stretches of ocean. So far no trace has been found. MH370 vanished from radar screens shortly after taking off from Kuala Lumpur, bound for Beijing, early on March the 8th, 2014. Investigators believe it was flown thousands of miles off course before eventually crashing into the ocean off Australia. Families of those on board commemorated the anniversary and said they still hold hope for their loved ones. There are plenty of people who said, come on, Sarah, just you know, he's not coming back, you know, give in to the truth and just move on with your life. But, but I'm not ready to do that because there isn't any proof.